Yes, for uh, both you guys, if I may. What uh, Coach Cal was on a moment ago, and he said uh, that he communicated with Spike Lee, and Spike Lee's going to be at the games uh, tomorrow night. How big of fans are you guys of Spike Lee? What, uh, how do you think it play, will play on your mind to look over and see Spike Lee? Um, you know, just, just being a fan of basketball and knowing, you know, all the, the, the moments that Spike Lee has had in the garden, that's, that's pretty dope. But once, once the game tips off, we're going to get lost in the game. We're not really concerned with sitting on the spot. Yeah, pretty much what he just said. Like, if you know basketball, if you watch NBA basketball, you know how big a role Spike Lee is uh, with the fans and all that out here. But like, like he said, once the game gets going, we're not really going to be worried about who's in the crowd. We're just worrying about what we've been, what we could do to win. Thanks. All right, guys. Reminder to use the uh, race hands feature if you got questions for these guys. Kyle Tucker, go ahead. Yeah, I know you guys have a, a, a big billboard now in Times Square. Uh, there's a lot of uh, a lot of you all popping up on uh, sponsorships and, and uh, promotions all over the town and the country. I wonder what how you guys are feeling about, one, the plan that Kentucky, the folks at Kentucky had for you guys to – to jump into this name, image, and likeness stuff and how they've helped guide you through it. And just, just how do you think it's going so far? Uh, I think, you know, as far back when, you know, there was an inkling that name, image, and likeness would really become a thing. I feel like Coach, he did a good job of putting a good, you know, infrastructure around us to win that to when name, image, and likeness did it <clears throat> come to fruition that we have some great opportunities. And, you know, he's just been doing a great job of helping us and, and leading us in the right direction with, with the opportunities that, that are presented to us. And, um, you know, Kentucky has a huge platform. And I feel like, you know, like I said, our infrastructure has been great with, you know, giving us the right guidance on how to, uh, you know, tread this new water. That's how you want to take that too? No, I'm okay. I'll pass. Okay. Jerry, go back to you. Yeah, I wonder uh, how you, both for both of you or either, uh, how you compare the stage uh, tomorrow night, Madison Square Garden, with just a regular, regular season game? Uh, I feel like, you know, tomorrow is going to be a big night. Eight, Cause like we playing the Garden good, it's a good program, but they're also a good coach as well. So I feel like you know it's gonna be highly anticipated. Everybody really wanted to see. Uh, but I just feel like it's like another game, another basketball game. We're just gonna go out there and treat it how we treat any other game. And I wonder one other one for Keon, I guess. Uh, coach was saying. Uh, you guys will have the task because Duke's got, you know, weapons at all spots to yeah. defend the post while also contesting threes. It's not like either or. How difficult is that to try to contain both the post and the threes? I mean, any good basketball team, you're going to have to do both. That's what teams that are, that are good and make deep postseason runs, that, that's what they do. You got to be able to, you know, protect the interior and also, you know, run people off the line and try to make them take tough twos. So we we see ourselves as a, as a good basketball team. And if we, you know, want to reach our full potential, we got to be able to do both. Thanks. We'll go to uh, Kyle Tucker again. Yeah, circling back on the, the name, image, and likeness stuff to, to both of you guys, I, I wonder how, how aware you both are. I mean, you guys have obviously done well getting these deals done before the season starts. But I wonder how, how aware you both are that, that what happens now as the season begins, how you play, how the team does, how each of you play will ultimately determine sort of your value and, and make, make all that actually matter. Uh, I feel like, you know, the NIL stuff is good for us uh, before the season and all that. But not like 
we're just one day from our game and all that. Like now that the season is really here, I feel like all of our attention is really, you know, focused on just getting better and winning games really like that. So we're not really like going out worrying about if we perform at a high level then our value of, of us increases and stuff like that. We're just really just looking for stuff to help us win. Jared, go back to you. Uh, Ty Ty, I wonder uh, how well do you know the uh, Duke freshmen? Maybe you played with them or against them uh, on the AAU circuit or whatever. Uh, yeah, I know them pretty well. Uh, me and Paulo kind of grew up together on the West Coast playing basketball through the AAU scene. So, like, and the same with Trevor, just being able to uh, travel to play the game at an early age, you know, seeing all these other guys almost every weekend, just building a relationship with them through basketball, doing the stuff we love. So it's just really uh, amazing to see both our journeys, you know, continue to grow. I haven't seen Paulo. I've read about him. How, how good is he? Uh, he's good. He's big. He's, he's very skilled. Thanks. Tyler Thompson with KSR, go ahead. So Cal talked a lot about Jacob Toppin and how he's been a difference maker in practice so far and even Friday night in the game. What have you guys noticed from Jacob so far in practice and what kind of energy does he bring to the squad? Uh, Jacob just brings a lot of, a lot of high energy. Um, you know, as we all know, he's extremely athletic, but you know, he, he matches that with his, with his energy and, he just brings a whole nother level of intensity to the game. Um, he can guard multiple positions. Jacob is just like a, a do it all Swiss Army knife type of guy. And you know, we have somebody like that on your team, like it makes it easier for the rest of us. Yeah, pretty much to piggyback off what he said, uh, JT, whenever he's whenever he's in the game, you know, he picks up everybody's energy. Uh, you can tell the whole energy, uh, the whole vibe we have just everything goes up with him uh, on Friday. You know, he's very athletic. He just told me to just throw it up anywhere near the rim and he'd catch it. So just having a guy like that on my team with high energy on both ends of the ball is always a plus. Cal Tucker, go back to you. This this is uh, Cal's last time, likely. I mean, he said he hopes to see, see them again, but I assume he means in the NCAA tournament. But if not, Last time coaching against Mike Krzyzewski, um, do you sense it matters to him any extra? I mean, have you gotten any uh, extra intensity out of him, uh, Keon, especially somebody who knows him a little bit going into games like these? Nah, coach is just, just focused on getting us better. Um, that's all he really been focusing on is making sure that we're prepared to play this game. Um, Duke is a good team. Coach K was a great coach, obviously. You know, coach is using this game to, to see where we are as a team. Um, our teams are similar in some aspects. We have great times and players on both teams. But, you know, he's just trying to prepare us the best way he can for us to win. Jerry, back to you. One last one for me, guys. What uh, what was it like uh, at the next game last night? What uh, what 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 memories were made, if any? Uh, the next game was really good. You know, my first time in the Garden. Uh, when I was in, I was just looking at the you know, Rockets and stuff. You seeing like Patrick Ewing's jersey and all that stuff was like really cool because you know uh, we didn't didn't get a chance to see him play growing up, but just like seeing highlights and stuff. Uh, stuff like that, you know, seeing the movie Space Jam, they shot Space Jam in there as well, too. So just looking around, seeing all the historical stuff that was in there was pretty cool. Who was the player, Ty Ty, that, uh, you know, you saw the jersey? Uh, Patrick Ewing. Patrick Ewing, yeah, that's what I thought. Wanted to make sure. What about you, Kia? Uh, for me, it was dope from a, from a different perspective. Uh, being able to see Emmanuel in person for the first time, playing the NBA game was, was, was great. Just you know, going back to when we were teammates and seeing how much hard work that he put in to get himself to to become an NBA player, and then finally being able to, to actually see him in person. You know, obviously I watched him 
on TV and stuff like that. But actually getting to see him and then you know, seeing his mother at the game, it, it was just good for me to, you know, to experience that and gave me something to push for and to strive for so I could be out there, you know, eventually one day myself. Thanks. Kyle, back to you. Yeah, you know, and you, you, you've been in this kind of moment, getting ready to play in this game to start a season uh, in Madison Square Garden in this event, and, and saw Ty, saw Tyrese kind of go nuclear in that game. I wonder if you have a sense for what it, what does it take to to rise to that moment in 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 that on that big stage, and do you feel like there's a guy or some guys on this team who have that in them that when the bright lights come on tomorrow night that they'll be ready for that. I think a lot of it comes down into your preparation. Um, just knowing that you put the work in to be ready for the moment um, always helps. It's always a great thing. So then once you get out there, you can just rely on you know, how much you're prepared in your training. Um, and I think we have multiple guys that, you know, when the, when the lights turn on, they're going to be ready to go. Like this man sitting right next to me, I believe he's going to have a great game tomorrow alongside the rest of my teammates. You know, we know how important this game is. Many people are going to be watching, but at the same time, we do understand it's our first game of the season and um, we have nothing to lose. So just go out there and give a job, play hard. And if you do that, um, you know, good things tend to happen for you.